I want to do a quick demonstration in Cadence on how to uh, make a custom footprint for a part. So the part I'm going to demonstrate this with is a 10K potentiometer that I've got in my drawing here that I need a footprint for. Um, and I've already selected this part uh, as part of my major component selection. I, I selected this part. Um, it's a surface mount component, so it's going to stick on just the face of the board. Um, so it won't have any through hole, uh, through hole pad stacks, but um, it's just going to sit on the face of the board um, and we need to make a footprint for it. So a place for it to actually sit on the board. So I went ahead and I opened the data sheet and this is the data sheet for the device. And I went ahead and I was wondering if it had any recommendations for how to lay out the board. And it does right here. It says recommended PCB pad outline dimensions. Most data sheets will have this. Um, and we can see that this is exactly what we need to build. So let's get started. We go ahead and open um, our PCB editor. And I'm just going to do File, New. And then I'll go ahead and put it in my Cadence Symbols directory. Um, this is important so that way Cadence can find the footprint when you netlist your schematic. So later down the road, it's important that it's in this folder or it's in your Symbols folder. Some people have this on your desktop, but I have it in Documents. Um, and I'm just going to call this the name of the part. So um, the name of the part is this ST4 ETB501. Make sure you select Package Symbol. And so this is our blank part. There's not much here. We can turn on grids by selecting this button and we can zoom in with the scroll wheel. Um, we can see where we are down here and we can click the scroll wheel to move around. We can move down to the bottom left. And by default, this is our zero, zero point. It's down in the very bottom left. Um, when we're actually building this part, um, in the data sheet, it specifies the zero, zero is right in the center. So it's gonna be hard to do that if the zero, zero is in the corner. So the first thing we can do is do setup and change drawing origin. We can just put it anywhere. I'll just put it right here. It's pretty arbitrary right now. Um, and each grid dot is 100 mils apart. We can see that if we go set up grids, we can see that each grid dot is a tenth of an inch uh, or a hundred thousandths of an inch uh, apart. And we're gonna put it right here. So everything we're gonna do in Cadence is all gonna be in thousandths of an inch. Um, that's set down here. Um, you can change it to metric, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, instead, I would recommend converting everything on this data sheet into uh, mills and using that. So first, you notice we're going to need this 2 millimeter by 2 millimeter pad stack. And so I went ahead and converted that to mills. And then you're also going to need is 2 millimeter by 1.6 millimeter pad stack. And so I went ahead and converted that to mills as well. So you can do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a layout and pins. So you can go ahead and place pins. And we'll select our pad stack in here. Um, there's By default, there's a whole bunch of different pads you can select. And you could probably find that one, one that would work. But it's really not too difficult to create a pad stack from scratch and have it do exactly what you want to do. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up our pad stack editor. And then I'm going to create a new pad stack. I'm going to make sure it's in my Cadence Symbols directory, just like everything else. And I'm going to prefix it with an underscore, so that way it appears at the bottom of my list, so I know exactly where it is. It's just really easy to find. And I'm going to call this exactly what it is. This is going to be my, uh, I'm going to set this one as my 2 millimeter. so this is 79 mil by 79 mil. So this is just going to be a 79 mil by 79 mil square. And this is just going to be an SMD pin. So there's no drill because it's an SMD. Uh, it's the surface mount device. There's no, there's no drilling through the board. And then we're just going to have this pad be a square, and it's going to be a 79 mil square. And we're also going to set the solder mask to have a 79 mil square as well. So that's about it for this pad stack. We'll just hit save. And then we also need another pad stack. We needed the um, this 1.6 by, or I'm sorry, this, uh, this 63 mil, so the, the 79 by 63. So 79 by 63 is another one we needed. So 79 by 63. That's about it for this one too. So we're just going to hit File and Save. All right, so now that I've went ahead and created my 
um, pad stacks, um, I'm going to go ahead and start um, placing them. So uh, first I'm going to go ahead and hit this pins button right here, and I'm going to select my pad stack. And because we prefix them with underscores, they're right at the bottom. So I'm going to start with this big one, this uh, square one, and we need to place it um, according to the data sheet. So we need to place it up by, um, and so um, you'll notice right away that this is not, uh, you could drag this and drop this, but there's not very good uh, resolution on the drag and drop ability here. We can only kind of place it on dots. It's not very user friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it. Um, uh, we're going to actually have to do a little bit of math to figure out how to uh, place this part. So um, we're going to, we've already set the, um, the zero, zero point right to the center of the part. And we want to place this, um, this, this pad, um, the center of this pad with respect to that zero, zero point at the position zero in the X direction, and then up three millimeters. So three millimeters is 118 mils um, or so. So I'm going to go ahead and um, place this. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I, I can't click at 0, 118. It goes 0, 100, and 0, 200. I can't do 118. So I have to type it. I have to use this command bar down here. And I type X, which is the command for like clicking. It's just like clicking. So I'm going to click at the position 0, and then 118. is. Uh, so I'm going to click that. And then it'll place the pin right there at the 0 and 118. So next we have to go ahead and place the uh, these other two, these other two pins, um, these ones right here. Um, and so those are the 1.6 by 2 millimeters. So we have to change our pad stack over. So we'll go and use the other pad stack, the 79 by 63 that we made. And we see that right away these are not oriented correctly. Um, in the drawing, the narrow side is horizontal. So we can go ahead and fix that by just selecting the rotation over here, select it to be 90 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and place this in the same way we did the other one. We're going to do X, and then it's going to be down by 3 millimeters. Um, yeah, down by 4. So it's 2 plus, plus uh, another one is going to be 3 millimeters. So that's 118 mils, so negative 118, because it's going to be down, down below this origin. So that's uh, in the in the... In the wide, I'm sorry, that's the y direction. So first we need to say the x direction, um, and the x direction is we're going to say uh, it's 2.35 divided by 2. So you have to do a little math 1.175. So 1.175 is going to be negative 46, negative 46 thousandths of an inch. So negative 46 point, point right there. And then we'll go ahead and place the other one. And the other one is just going to be plus 46.3. So it's the same thing. So we're going to do 46.3 and then uh, negative 118. And so now that we've placed our parts, we can go ahead and right click and hit done. And then we can place a rectangle around this. So this rectangle is kind of a, it's not too important, but we're just going to place some of the package geometry and solder mask top layer. Alrighty, so the last thing we need to do, we have the package outline and we have all of these pads. Um, I want to make sure that the pads are numbered correctly, um, first of all. Okay, so I see that the pins in my design are not labeled correctly. Um, I see that this is pin number one and this is two and this is three. Um, so if I were to build this into a board like this, um, it's going to see this as one and then two and three and it's going to wire them up incorrectly. Um, and uh, I know that because the data sheet has them specified like this. Um, so I have to go ahead and renumber these, and that's pretty simple to do. I just hit this edit text button, and I can click this one, and I can change it to two. And I can click this two, and I can change it to one, and I should be all good. The last thing I need is uh, I'm just going to hit done, and I need a reference designator. So I hit this button, and I'm just going to add it right here, and typically we just use the part number. Um, so ST4 ETB501 is what I'll use. All right, so we'll just hit File and then Save. And we can see that it has created the pad stack, or it has created the footprint. 